Hello and welcome to Chunk Build, guys. Welcome to the third episode of our castle theme. I think this is the sixth episode overall. And today we're going to show off a keep. Um, now, keep in mind, haha, <laughs> as it were, that this is uh, a chunk build. So the size of the build is only 16 by 16, so there's only so much you can do. And I opted for uh, giving away some of the defensive features of the keep. To make it a little bit more livable, like a livable area basically. Um, because we have a fair bit of uh, defensive structures in place with the gatehouse in, in the second episode of this theme. And in the uh, uh, corner wa uh, wall structure as well. So this place has proper windows, it has roofs and stuff like that, so we're going to talk about that in a little bit. Uh, but first, let's take a tour of the gatehouse. Sorry, the keep. <laughs> so, it uh, basically consists, it, it consists of three circular structures. There's one here, which is nine in diameter. There's one here, which is seven. And then uh, the entrance one is, uh, I think, also seven. Uh, so one, two, three, four, yeah, seven. Uh, and the what makes them a little bit interesting is that they are different heights. So the bigger they are, uh, the higher they go, basically. This uh, first one here, uh, it contains the entrance, uh, which is basically a hallway with some armor stamps. Now, uh, originally I had planned for this to be a divider, so that uh, an enemy has to split up to go either that way or that way and then have murder holes above but uh, you know I gave up on that idea I wanted to instead make it a livable a livable space so <clears throat> you can imagine that there it has once been a divider and this four uh, or, or five wide pillar goes through the entire keep so that's the structural uh, main point here. In fact, I've marked it out with diorite, so if you download the uh, structure, you can uh, check it out. So anyway, this is the hallway. Uh, this way leads up to a stairwell, and this whole tower is basically just a stair tower. We have some storage over here, and this is sort of the war room where they're planning their assaults. This is the keep. There's this uh, lake here, and then they have fields surrounding the keep. Presumably. <laughs> Now we have some decorations, but it's fairly sparse. The most interesting thing really about this room is the arches above. So we're going to go up and have a little look at them. Uh, they are dark oak arches and they all converge in the middle. They're very simple. They're really just blocks and a stair. Uh, but they give this uh, sense of, of uh, structure to the ceiling, which I really like. There's also a sea lantern up here uh, as in some sort of chandelier. And then the pillars uh, are sort of divided off and go from oak logs to dark oak planks with the help of these spruce stairs, which are also a convenient place for us to hang our banner. So let's go up a level. As you can see, I've placed the windows so that you can actually use them, uh, but that means that from the outside they look a bit uh, off center and such like. Uh, we'll look at that later on. From here you have a little balcony overview, uh, 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 which you can fall down, <laughs> uh, but that's about it, you have a little balcony overview. You can also go in here if you want to go to the kitchen. We have a, an oven, some work surface, a uh, water source, cauldron, more work surface, presumably for slaughtering animals, this, and a little bench with some storage in, and also some places to hang your utensils. Um, now, th this place produces a lot of smoke, which is why the windows are always slightly ajar. Actually, it's because I needed a slab there, but we don't need to talk about that. You can still see out the windows as we go up. Now, this stairway ends here, and this is the top of this uh, tower as well. And we can see down over the roof of the entrance or kitchen tower, or we can go into the library that we have here, with a little weird desk. That's because this uh, floor is half slabbed for for uh, construction reasons. <laughs> uh, but this is a nice room. I, I like the way the bookshelf cases are just placed wherever they fit in. 
and I'm just uh, surrounded by by slabs. Uh, going up, when you're done reading for the night, you can write your letters at your desk and look it to the horizon. Or you can go to bed, if you need to get up in the night and go to bed, you, or, or go to the loo, you don't need to go all the way down. You can use your little uh, night potty there. And you even have a little little book stand over here or whatever, or side table. And this is the top of the third tower. Now, we need to go out, uh, down and out, to look at the window placement and some other little bits as well. <clears throat> so, if you look on the window placement, you can see that the windows aren't uh, symmetrically placed. And that is because there's a stair here, basically. So, this is lower than this, for instance, and so on. Now, that's fine. That's how they actually placed windows. If you look at a stair tower, medieval stair tower and um, you will see that that is the case now also the windows are fairly different sizes and that's also fine they would have gone for as big window uh, a window that they could afford and as big a window as it would fit so uh, that's that uh, now uh, there are some differences between this build and the previous two mainly in that I haven't gone out and up for the crenellation and that is because the keep it is just too big. If I had done that, I would have ended up outside of the 16 by 16 area on this side. So instead I had to be a little bit inventive. What I did was, uh, where it was possible, I placed these. However, I haven't done it on this tower uh, for the same reason. But that's fine, that's just the stair tower. Uh, and these are supposed to look like gargoyles or something like that. And then I placed the crenellation just with the stair up like that. That's fine anyway, because uh, this structure isn't as defensive uh, in nature as, as the wall and gatehouse and towers. Uh, this is the keep. This is where the master lives, you know. So it has to be comfortable and aesthetically pleasing rather than uh, safe. <laughs> so the roofs are really simple. They are all uh, fairly flat roofs. Go, you can see it best on this one. Going towards the center. And they're all made out of half slabs. And uh, basically they start at the same level as, or at the same place as the uh, walls end. And then they just go up by half a slab per layer. Uh, they are made out of never rack. Yeah, I was debating this long and hard. I was going to go for dark oak at one point. But actually I don't think that looks as good. And then I was going to go for spruce. But then I realized that, well, all of the interior is spruce. So that won't, uh, and besides, I don't think the wood texture looks as good either. So in the end, it was between <clears throat> this or brick slabs. And I just find that the brick slabs, yeah, they, they, they if I went for brick slabs, your eyes would be drawn to, to this block here all the time. <laughs> and so I opted for the nether uh, brick. Which is fine, I think it looks cool. I think I've seen a lot of castles looking uh, like that, both with the construction of the roof and the material selection. <coughs> there are... There's one more thing to talk about really, I think, and that is the entrance way. Now, I, I, I wanted to have like a, a defensive entrance here, but in the end I just went for the crenellation like that, or the structure with upside down stairs and you know it gives it depth enough so that it's not terrible and uh, you know uh, combined with these spruce spruce stairs that does the same thing it actually looks pretty impressive from down here you can see the gargoyles you can see in fact this might be a gargoyle as well and so on and then once you enter here what I like about this is if we take away the uh, the um, banners for a second <coughs> I like that none of these, uh, well these are just where they end up, The uh, there's a nice sort of flow to these, so they're not on the same level if, if you know what I mean, so this and this is, but that one is higher, that one is out one and higher, and that one is lower again, and then that one is lower again, so yep, that's what I like about that. Now this staircase we need to talk about a little bit as well, it's fairly organic staircase, um, I was once in a castle in, uh, actually a church, in the south of England, uh, a medieval church, and 
they had a staircase that was just really, really random. Uh, it turns out that it had... Uh, um, it, it, they had walked like mad on some steps and not never ever on others. So they were basically rounded and the other, the other steps were uh, just square and very high, tall steps. And that's sort of the, the idea here that I've gone for you. So you can see that these are on different heights. That's fine. You can still walk up it. <clears throat> there are stairs involved uh, where it suits and fits. And the only place really where you can get stuck is here. But you have a stair here. So that just pushes you sort of up. And so basically I think you can you can say that the outer the outer layer of the stair is pretty much always a little bit higher up than the inner layer. And that's uh, that's because obviously people tend to walk on the inner layer. So, yeah. That's that. Uh, there's just one final thing. And that is, the glass is grey stained glass. Uh, you could go for colored glasses if you want to draw the eyes to the windows. And that might in fact be something that they would have done in uh, the Middle Ages. Because they would have liked to show off that they can go and buy tainted glass but uh, in this case i felt it better to just go with something neutral so there you have it the keep i hope you liked it if you did leave a like leave a comment tell me what you think and what you could, what you think i could have done better and uh, share and subscribe as well by all means uh, the important thing about subscribing is that you will get notifications about when other episodes of uh, chunk build comes out and they are fairly frequent so it's a good thing to keep your track of. Uh, also, if you look in the description, you can find uh, the structure blo block or the structure block file to download and place this keep into your own world. And uh, do remember that these uh, three keep parts or castle parts they go really well together, so you can play around with combining them and such like. Uh, but that's going to be it for now, guys. Uh, when we return, we have a new theme. Uh, and that theme is Western, Wild West, the Wild West. Uh, so I hope you'll enjoy that and check it out. Uh, but that's for next time. For now, I have to say bye-bye.